we're good to go. Oh, I'm turning the light off so because I think it messes up the light. Okay. Um, now I've got what do I need for this? I got my two posts that I made. I have some more tape. Again, the Zonas tape, and then I also have um, some half-inch tape. I don't usually buy half-inch tape. I just take a roll of the one-inch tape, um, and if you start un you know peel it off, rip it in half. Here, I'll show you how to start it. Right, peel it off, rip it in half, and just rip half an inch at a time. Um, you can make half inch tape out of <laughs> one inch tape. And I usually I go like all the way down on one side and then flip it over and go all the way to the other. Okay, so I'll, I'll need a little bit of half inch tape at the very end. Um, and I also, you can't see in the picture, but I also went ahead and ripped a bunch of pieces of tape sort of in graded lengths from maybe three inches to four and a half or five or something. Uh, it's just easier if, if I've got them already ripped. All right, I'm going to take a post and just measure how long I want it to be. So the nice fluffy end goes in the base of the ear. Stick it in there. I can see, okay, I'm going to want it to be, I like to go, you know, a little bit above the tip of the ear. So I'm going to cut right here. Should be about the same, so I'll just cut that one to the same length. There, so now I'm going to pull this to the right length. Okay. Um, one of the real tricks is you want to make sure to get that post way down into the base of the ear. So I usually I stick it in, and then I kind of like screw it in and twist. Um, always twisting toward toward spike. So, hold still, bud. So I'm gonna hold that ear tight with one hand and with the other one I'm gonna twist that in as much as I can and then lay the ear onto the post. Good, and again, the post is sticky so it'll kind of stick there for a minute, which is nice. All right, but you wanna make sure you get it nice and snug as much as you would feel comfortable pulling your own ears, pull his ears, or even a little more, maybe. Because <laughs> you want it to be nice and snug and stretched up as far as it'll go. And then I take my smallest piece of tape and I always go, oi, oi, oi. I want to wrap around in the direction of the hair. So I lay it, the end of it, hold still, bud onto the sticky so that it's sticky to sticky, and then wrap this around. And then the trick here that you have to be really careful of is you wrap very gently. You almost just lay the tape across the ear. If you go too tight, um, when you're going across the ear, if you go too tight, you'll, you'll irritate the ear. And worst case, you can even cut off the blood circulation. Um, and, and when that happens, even I've seen dogs where part of the ear falls off. <laughs> which is bad. So real gentle, just drape it across the ear. And then you can tell afterwards, you can tighten it up just by giving it a little squeeze. Okay, and then, it, so then I'm gonna have my pieces of tape get a slightly longer as I go down and I overlap, oh gosh, just a little. Okay, stop, dude. Hold still, Spike. see there's a little um, there's a little natural crease here um, some people tape that open and some people tape it closed I tape it open but it's just a matter of preference it's still bad okay and you're gonna take depending on as he grows right now it may be only four pieces of tape as he grows it may be five draping it around some people um, only do three pieces, like top, middle, and bottom. I just tape the whole thing. Okay, and as you get farther to the base, um, his ear is, you know, curved, and so you'll want to start going a little bit, like, up at an angle and around 
them back down. So let me see if I can show you that. So I'm going to point this. Hold still, bud. Up at an angle. Up and around. And back down. And especially this last one at the very base is going to be your longest piece of tape. You're going to want to put it on at an angle so you can go up and around the base of that ear. Back down. And again, you don't want anything tight or sharp. What are you eating? He's eating a piece of toast. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to do the other ear. So let me uh, pause it while I do the other ear. Oh, there's no pause. You just have to watch me. And I wrecked that one piece of tape, so I need to get myself a little more tape before I do the other ear. Just hold tight, bud. What a good puppy. Yeah, you're a good puppy. Okay, so again, I want graded sizes. The smallest one, just two or two and a half. <coughs> hey, hey, puppy, you're all right. Ooh, don't fall off the table, Spike. Sit. Good boy. And I think I used five pieces on the other one, so I'll use five on this as well. Okay. Okay, again, I'm going to put that in as far as it'll go and then screw it in even farther and then stretch it up, up, up. direction of the hair. Hold still. Do, do, do. Being real gentle. Ah. There we go. And if you made the tape a little too long, you can either just tear it off or leave it on. It doesn't hurt anything to have a little extra tape on there. Again, I'm going to Take this little crease and flatten it out so that the ear is wrapped all the way around that post. Good boy, bud. I know. I know. Come back. I need to see what I'm doing. And again, especially on these base ones, we want to start the tape slanting up so it goes around the back and slants down, coming back around. Ta-da! Okay, so now he's got horns. <laughs> and now, um, especially as he gets older, you're just going to leave him like that. Um, if you ever notice that you don't like the angle, like if you think they're sticking out too much, then you can put what we call a figure eight on the top, and that's what the half-inch tape is for. And what I'm, I'm really going to do a figure eight around these ears, okay, and I'm going to do it so that it holds them sort of right near the base and going across the top of his head and holds them, um, I, I want to say it's not 10 and 2, it's more like 11 and 1. And when he really alerts, they'll come in a little more. Um, if you start to notice that they're tipping in too much, then, then skip the figure eight for a little while. All right, but so now I've got the half inch tape. I'm going to go around one ear, again making a figure eight, and then the trick, oops, the trick is the middle piece of the figure eight, you just pinch it sticky to sticky in half, pinch it in half, sticky to sticky side, hold still bud, okay, he's not letting me do it, there, okay, and that's just so that it, that figure eight in the middle doesn't stick to anything. Okay, and so I went around one ear. Now I'm going to go around the other ear. Slip in that tape, and again, pinch, pinch. All right, whoop, whoop, whoop. Hold still, Spike. Good boy. Good boy. tend to fall off and then you put them back on and then they fall off and put them back on. But you pinch that middle
tape so that the tape doesn't stick to the tape and it doesn't stick to his head or anything. And the idea is that'll keep them sort of in a more up position, but they can still both rotate because the figure eight, these two strands in the middle aren't stuck to each other. So he can still look at something or rest his ears a little bit. All right, ta-da, posted ears. And of course, call me when you have questions. <laughs>